together. Spartan Punch! You gotta, you gotta do it with me, dude! Okay. okay. Yeah. Spartan Punch. Yeah. This is my friend Ashton. We are at Mott's Military Museum. This thing is, a, this place is amazing. There's so many cool stuff. Right, right now we're in the Civil War section, and as you can see, these are all weapons and artifacts from the Civil War. Different types of rifles and pistols. And this is really cool. Horse saddle. Look at that. These are these are Confederate side. This is a Confederate side, I think. Is it? Uh, no. Oh, that's a Union. That's a Union. Yeah, yeah it's a Union. No, it, it is likely that they would use. The same but dude, methods. look at read that stuff. There's a lot of there's like there's descriptions that go along with this. Ooh, it's a Winchester, dude. There's a Winchester sheet, dude. Oh, Winchester, one of the first um, lever lever action rifles out there. Yeah. Here, here. Nice. Ooh, dude, there's one of the, there's a revolver. There's a, revolvers. These were the first. This was the first one where revolvers were made. Like revolvers were used in the United States, but they weren't. But they weren't revolvers like we know them today, where you load the shells. Uh, yeah, actually, they, they actually had to pull them back like and fire them and pull them back and fire them. No, no, you actually had to load up each little, um, each little thing with um, a bullet, like you would a musket. They're like mini muskets. Really? Yeah. This was the first war, actually, where um, the the bayonet charges and things like that were became useless. It, they didn't. The tactics didn't adapt, which is why so many men were lost during the Civil War. But this was the first war where things started to change. The technology <laughs> didn't allow. Little them. cannon. Mini cannon. Dude, look at those cannonballs, dude! Holy cow! Dude, these are these are these are shells. Yeah, these are huge, dude. Imagine picking one of those up. That'd be so heavy. Especially when you're bombarding the enemy as they're charging you. You have to put in. Like, how yeah, you put in. You have to pull back on the on the on the uh, hole string, and then it will fire the fire the shell. And this is actually. Uh, well, these these shells would actually erupt. Besides the cannonballs, the cannonballs would just splatter and go everywhere. Yeah. But, but the those, shells would spread would out. I know, but the, but, the, but the shells spread out farther, which is yeah. why they use these bad boys more. They would also travel through the air faster. I know. The thing is, though, is that they cost so much to make during this during this time, so mm -hmm. so I don't really find that much. Dude, this is a torpedo from one of the very first ships that they made of steel. Yeah, the ironclads. Oh, what was it? The, uh, the USS Meramec and the... Um, I think it was the Meramec and the uh, Monitor. No, no. Robert E. Lee, dude. Yeah. He was actually... Uh, I think President Lincoln actually asked him to become a Union general, but he refused because of the Southern <laughs> Oh, dude, look at this. One of the very first special cop rifles, where they actually have special clips that they attach inside of them. Yeah. Yeah, the bat... There's a... Oh wow! Yeah, you see, how much the, the Union outnumbered the outnumbered the Confederates. That's pretty nice, dude. Oh, I have like a few more minutes to left to recording this thing. This is this is. I mean, the, all this stuff here is really cool. Once we get to World War II, I'm gonna be blaming history all over with you, all all over you about that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Really this is oh, this is World War One. By war bonds. Yep. Yep. Bonds. <gasps> The Spanish rifle. Pistol. Yeah, that's a wow. Bigger. Uh, they actually upgraded those. French for, bayonet. Um, the first French rifles, I think, that were used during World War One, they attached that bayonet, and when the French would carry them, like over their shoulder, it would tower above them. I've seen one picture of it. It's like a it's good a litho. Foot and a half. It's a litho. Mm -hmm. Litho. You see? Yeah, I see. It's battle it. during. It's, it's, it's a battle during France. Yeah. Let's see here. Hey, look! Have you ever heard of the Red Cross? This is one of the first yeah, time. This, this is the first, first time, time Red, Red Cross. Cross. Yeah, yeah. This, this came in as medics and certain. There's some uh, super cool equipment. Oh wow! They would, um, dude. It's you see, look, tape. look at that stuff. They, you see, uh, in World War II medics actually would have a lot more stuff than they had in World War One because of the well, technology yeah, because increases. Technology. They would have medicine. They would have plasma that, that we carry in the um, little canisters, but they don't have that in World War One. Look at this EB. <laughs> Snub nose, dude. Cal yeah, thirty-two caliber, hammerless, five shot. Top break, over me. Helmets, dude. Look at that stuff. Hey, that's French. It's camouflage. French used to. Oh, yeah, World War One helmet. Uh, that. 
that one right there was used by the British. Um, it's called the really, really creative name of Helmet Mark I. Yes. <laughs> the really creative name. I have a, uh, my friend has a, Marsh, a Russian Mark 12 that they, a uh, Soviet Mark 12, I should say, that they used in World War II, and it's pretty cool. Uh, oh, dude, look. It's a, it's, a, it's an A-10. It's an airplane. <laughs> A-10 uh, airplane. Um, British. British. It's a target symbol. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at that machete. Holy cow. Is that a bayonet or is that a machete? That's that, a bayonet. That, that looks more like a machete than a bayonet. Yeah, it says bayonet right there. I know, but <laughs> I, I saw it, dude, but I don't think it's in the way. That doesn't look much like it. Oh, a Russian helmet. Oh, that's French? That's French? That's, that's Adrian. That's the Adrian. It's a French helmet. It must be like an upgraded version of that helmet. Oh no, that that helmet over there, that's British. This is French. They each had the different helmets. I know. Uh, German, so that's German right they have there. A pickle helmet. Oh yeah. I, I can tell I can the tell. The pickle helmet was that they used before. These are the steel helmets. I forget they were called. But the pickle helmet were leather, things like that didn't really do much against bullets. But the steel helmets. This section is my era right here. World yeah. War Two. The swash sticker. That's American uniform right there. Holy jamoy. I have a helmet just like this at my house, dude. I got one at the okay. Army Surplus. You sent me a picture of it. You know what that is? That's an M1 Grand. Bandolier's right there. So yeah. how it works, there's like a little... Back, but you put works. the clip in, then you have to replace the bandolier and then slide that in. Dude, that takes right forever to reload, but the accuracy and range on that thing is so dang that good. Sniper rifles. Holy cow. Look at these. Winchester. This is an American. Winchester is an American sniper rifle. What? Flintlock rifles. Those weren't used during World War II. I know, but these, these were. I think these were like a cer ceremonial. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. You just fold up American flag. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! I mean, World War II is my favorite era. Oh, there's German. It's a, it's a, it's a Nazi helmet right there. It's upside down though. Why would you put a Nazi helmet upside down? So you can see the inside? I know, you can see the inside, dude. But everyone knows what the inside of a helmet looks like. It has foam and stuff like that. Well, not exactly. The World War II and the end of World War I was actually the first time that the German helmets um, had space in between the head and the helmet, so in case it got dented. So there's the Eddie Stone. That was used by... Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I can't remember. Um, Winchester is obviously... That's that's the trench gun, dude. That was the, one of the very first shotguns ever made. Yep. Used by the United States. They were meant in, the, in World War One because there's a double-barreled shotgun. This was actually the first shotgun ever created. Was a double-barreled, and it was used in uh, late World War One, and it started in World War Two. Ooh, here's the um, that one. You see the one with a little revolver. Uh, it's the whole barrel. Mm -hmm. That was actually one of the first. Um, I think it was one of the first pistols that would actually carry mo more ammunition mm. inside it and ready to fire. It took forever to load them. Yeah, these are Civil War stuff here. Oh, dude, look at that. See the operator from World War II? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other cool weapons down there. But, dude, this stuff is this stuff is amazing. This sniper rifle. Yeah, Winchester snipers were a lot were used by a lot by the Americans. Um, yeah. So but you can see on the on the one right there in the middle. Oh. It's a lever action. Yeah, because it has a, <laughs> it's a lever, dude. Yeah. You expect... <laughs> you can clearly see it. It's right there. You hear how the lever action works. You see the little... I know how the lever action works, dude. I oh, see you know how the rifles work. work. Well, the first lever actions, actually, you would load it in the, the little barrel under it. You would load it in there. Yeah, I know. Because, uh... Oh, shoot. It's Because that's actually was... Uh, the lever action is actually a huge inspiration for BB guns. Mm -hmm. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, that's why a lot of BB guns are lever action. <laughs> yes! Um, wait, so I got something to tell you. So do you know that uh, they started using film strips in the Marine Corps in 1943 to actually show how rifles were used and made? Hmm. So, they, so, poor guys who in 1941, 1942, they didn't get those epic films that actually show them innocently how the rifles were used. They actually they could get barked at their drill instructors and say, No, this is how you do it. Understand me, guys? Well, one problem with the, um, in World War I was before the film strips, um, they would have instru instruction manuals. But when the Americans got there, um, if, they, if they were um, deployed in French areas, they were all in French. So they could read them. <laughs> They'd have to have the translator. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't read this. Can, can you help me? Oh, wait, where's the British? I need help with this. <laughs> yeah. This was a... This one right here. The one with the big spikes. Yeah, it's spikes. That's a, yeah, it's that was before the... Um, steel I, I took a picture of this side. I remember I remember taking a picture of this. That's that's a really cool helmet. Yeah. 
It's more ceremonial. So let's go, let's go more to the World War II side of things. Oh, looky, looky here. It's a stampede. 19. It's a 538. That rifle's pretty beast looking, dude. And it's a little bayonet on Yes, a tiny little one. Not long, like the French. They go gets the go up higher than the head. Yes, the Louis Waffle were actually in the Air Force. Yeah, I know. I know. Waffle, Air Force. I mean, that's not exactly it. My my friend calls him Luth Waffle. I'm like, dude, no, 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 not the Luth Waffle. Cosmic Cosmic. I did a presentation on it last year. Oh, look at that Gatling gun, dude. Yeah, that's cool, right? Is that a Gatling gun? I don't think that's that. Oh yes, it is. It's a Gatling gun, dude. It's, that's a Gatling it gun. It looks more like a. It's an American. Hold on. What, what type of American rifle is it? It's a M18. Used in where? Oh, it's the 57 millimeter recoil rifle. Right? Yes, but it's also known as an M18. What does it do? Wait, wait where was it? Where was it used? I can't read it. Wait, no, so it's not. This was a transportation box. Fire weapon. It comes to three, three sizes. Oh no, this is, this is a Gatling gun. It is. It is. A when a guy called me one day and says, Oh, yeah, it is. Cause it, oh, yeah, because the Dude, thing goes in there and it fires up from this end. I thought it was, I thought it was down this end because I thought that was a scope that... Because if it wasn't down there, that'd be pretty big. Yeah, probably have to use something like a boat or something. Yeah, but that is... Oh, yeah, this was used during World War II. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. Oh, there, there's this classic swastika. Yes. Okay, so... Look at all this stuff. This stuff is amazing. It's ruptured duck. Um, <gasps> ruptured duck. From that's a, Donald. That's Donald from. Because yeah. Because Walt Disney made Beatles. cartoons about the Second Great War. Yeah. Well, actually, a lot of fire pilots um, would make their um, logos based off of the um, Disney characters. Oh my gosh! Look at those, dude. Japanese helmets. Yep. These are Japanese weapons. Japanese sniper rifle. The thing is, though, Japanese did not have a lot of good weapons because they were so poor. Because of after, because remember World the, World yeah, one, the imperializing their, and yeah, they all got all their territories removed. Well, well, no, they no. got for some of China, but then during it they yeah. But the problem was though is that Japanese were the problem is that Jap- Japan needed more land to actually get more natural resources. Mm-hmm. That's why they invaded China in the first place. That's why they took over our land in the first place. Yeah, it's a Japanese bugle because Japanese instead of uh, blowing whistles, they would blow bugles. Mm-hmm. Which wasn't a good idea because that would it let the Americans know where they were. But whistles are so sharp and so like so like quick that the, that they don't are you, they aren't usually caught that much. Which is why the Vietnamese learned from the Japanese never to blow bugles unless if it's like a huge crowd of people. Uh, there's a, um, a katana. No, uh, it's Japanese, a Japanese off. katana. It was actually the last time the samurais actually used swords in this battle. Well, actually, um, the. Before they actually went down the drain. The katanas <gasps> were actually given to... Gunnery sergeant. <laughs> well, the katanas were actually given to um, Japanese kamikaze pilots as, like, a last sign of honor before they went off and killed, killed yeah. themselves. But the, these katanas were actually... Uh, some uh, Japanese marines used these as a, a presentation to the samurai, which was actually the last time the samurai were honored in this time period. Hello. You, you, ought, to be a, you ought to be a guide here. <laughs> <laughs> I think about becoming a historian. Yes, I'm actually planning on either becoming a historian or an American history teacher because I love I love American history. They found yeah. a Civil War pistol on a Japanese soldier. Hmm. Wow. So we look around here, and ooh, look at this! It's a Japanese Anamba. Eight millimeter. That's actually the first pistol you receive in Call of Duty: World at War. <laughs> Oh, American hand grenade. The first flag grazing on Iwo Jima. Pineapple. Sand from Iwo Jima. Japanese samurai sword with a leather scabbard. First flag grazing on Iwo Jima. Holy cow. That, that's the flag. Mm-hmm. A golden gun. <laughs> the frame of the war. I know, but, but I'm just making a joke out of it. Oh, wait, it was a World War II flag. Holy flare gun. cow. It's brass. It's actually, yeah. yeah, buddy. Oh, the signatures on there, the veterans. I can't I tell who those are, but I wonder if they have a copy of the um, of a higher call painting. I, I don't know actually what it's called. Type ninety nine light machine gun is amazing. It's amazing yeah, it's how they still one. have that thing. The World War One Ruby pistol. Wow, well, that's a Iwo Jima pistol right there. 
Hmm? Big, like 57 millimeter cannon. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a bazooka. That's a bazooka. Thing's crazy. Not, I don't think we determined it was a bazooka. All right, so it's... It's Ellie Archer Jr. These are planes that they flew in. This is a 101 bomber. It's a P101. It's a P111. No, it's this one. Guys are from the Tuskegee Airmen Group. It's pretty cool. Now we go outside. Open the door. Look at this beauty. KU's, a Huey, and the Cobra. Look at this. This stuff is amazing. Name all these helicopters out here. This is the KU's, also known as the, oh shoot, uh, 6A, OH-6A. This helicopter was used in Vietnam. Also known as, it's also known as a little bird. Uh, this helicopter was uh, supposed to be like a small troop transport. There'd be two uh, pilot and co-pilot in here. There'd be two troops hanging from the side of this balcony holding M60s. They'd be shooting at an enemy uh, North Vietnamese and citizens, sadly, as they were passing by through uh, the South Vietnamese cities. Very sad. Yeah, this is uh, CKUs. Helicopter K is this little bird. That one. Very interesting. You guys can pause the video right here if you want to read all the descriptions. Yeah, see, flew in Vietnam with the C troop, one of the Knights of Cal Calvary Scouts. That's trolling just for fire. That's time I never thought <laughs> Trolling with fire. <laughs> this this is nice. my bad boy. Hueys are my favorite helicopter of all yeah, time. I something. I remember yes. what they look like. This is also known as a Croix, but People call Americans call it the Huey U H H one. Yes, thank you. Uh, this was the first American, uh, real like first American cavalry helicopter. This was a very huge. Hel this is a huge carrier. There would be approximately so these doors would slide open right here, and inside would be like about a like about twelve Marines packed into this little bunch, strapped onto these little cords, and then they would. Uh, there's going to be a gunner right here. Holding an M16 down with chains, and it'll be shooting at a boatload of Japanese. Oh, not Japanese. Not Japanese. <laughs> Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yes. I was gonna say we didn't. Fight. We didn't fight. We didn't. And you see those little, you see those little balance points right there. That's actually what hold the blade from actually spinning out of control and tilting from side to side. What does the? Um, you know what the chain purpose are? That, just that way the bl things? blade doesn't spin around. Oh, okay. Yeah. The blade. <laughs> the, yeah. They're, they're not, the blades don't. You don't want to. He, the blades don't want to spin around because the wind can actually ch see because the winds are packing uh, the blades and making uh, them move. Yeah, I see it. This here's Cobra. This this bad boy was used in Nam too, but this was late. This was in late Nam. 1968 was the first time it was used. Look at that 30 cal machine gun. This thing packed a punch. I, I believe it. That thing looks scary. Like even though it's plugged here. That's what. That's why they painted it. That's why they painted it to make it look scary because this copter was was a huge. Punch to the Vietnamese army, and and this uh, these are rocket shells. They would fire. Yes, those are artillery cannons, but we'll get to those later. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to those later. So these these cannons here would fire huge shell. These would fire huge missiles mm -hmm. and blow up uh, enemies on impact. Then a and this bunch is the, of tinier missiles right here. Yeah, they would have put these are these were mainly grenades. They would shoot grenades out, out of these things. And they would like it's like a little grenade launcher. They would fire it and they would explode on the on the surface. And these, this is the engine that would push it uh, in case if it ever, ever got in danger. Uh, yeah. This back engine here would like, make it go soaring. This thing was the that, fastest that, copter during the war. That's cool. Besides the Huey. The Huey was the, was, was the second fastest because of the, it, has a, it has a little bit of a smaller engine on the Huey, mm -hmm. but the Cobra was the hugest engine because it was mainly used for attack purposes. And these are the artillery cannons. These, yeah, these are cool. These are pretty cool. This one was actually, this one's actually one of the oldest uh, artillery cannons it was used in... Um, this was used in World War One. This was yeah. used in I know World how to War One. One of these two. No, definitely not because I. Like, yeah, this was yeah. this was a World War One cannon. Uh, I think what you would do. This is this is the barrel. They would pull this back and load a shell inside, and they would pull it back. Put it back. Push it. And then uh, where's you? And oh yeah, here we go. This is you had to turn this down, and then you would press. Uh, where, where's 
Oh, they're, they're, missing, the, they're, missing, the, they're missing the lever knob. Yeah. They don't want anyone firing this bad boy. Well, of course they don't. It's a World War One portable artillery. And this bad boy. That one was the scary did, one. This is World War Two. This is a howitzer. One of the very first cannons that actually packed a huge If you look up punch. into the barrel, you can see the rifling. Yeah, rifle lining. It's, you guys can see up there if you want to. But this 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 was actually a huge artillery cannon. Used to, especially in the uh, after the Americans stormed up Normandy, they actually would they, they would actually use this against the Germans. Uh, the problem was that the boats that carried this stuff would actually sink because of how heavy it was. Well, the great thing about these, um, rather than over traditional cement artillery, uh, which was during, made during World War II, these are wheels. I know. You can move them? Yeah, and, and, especially and they, they, actually, they, they hook them onto jeeps, too. They, this was actually the first time they actually transported them onto jeeps. You see there's a hook in the front, and there's also a hook in the back. That, oh, wait, no, they don't have a hook in the back. Oh, yeah, this is only a carryable part of the because the back had two stands that would actually hold it up. They weren't built yet. It was in World War One since the trenches were so static. Mm -hmm. um, it was more efficient to just cement than cement artillery in with bigger ones. But in World War Two, with the war, and, um, with the the wild warfare, yeah, the wild warfare, the, the fluid fronts, um, it was easier to have the. So next, we are on to the second howitzer. This was uh, used in the Iraqi War. You can tell because the tires are different. They are more modern. You can tell because these bad rims right here. And, and the color. Yeah, the color too. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to be camouflaged in with yeah. the sand that they had in Iraq. Seriously though, this thing is scary. <laughs> See, all of these things here are scary, dude. I mean, what do you expect? This one more than others because it's just got this giant barrel. This one here is a little bit different of a howitzer. This one's got a little bit of an attachment on the side. This one's more for long range. You can tell because yeah. of the barrel. This one's a smaller range howitzer used in Iraq. You guys can pause it there if you want to. Another World War One cannon that they have on that side. And now we're on to the jet plane. This thing, dude, is awesome. Oh, Ashton. I'm looking at the artillery stuff. Artillery's cool. I know. But jet plane, I think, is the best. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. This was used in Nam as well. This is a, uh, this is a Corsair. It's a ground attack aircraft. It would drop bombs. And you can tell, because look at those bomb sheets off there, dude. Three. Bang. Carries what does it carry? Hold on, let's just say what it carries. It, oh, it's it's uh, these types are still used today by the Ohio National Guard. Well, it's a 21st Fighter Wing Air Base, Columbus, Ohio. Wow! I think on the purpose. And look, only one person flies this thing. One. Well, yeah, I guess. I know, but it's. I'm just making a joke out of it, dude. I, <laughs> sorry, you take things a little. I know you do. I think the reason. I could be wrong on this, but the reason why they have such a big little hole is for cooling the engine. Yes, that's actually one of the reasons. Also, because the engine needs, it, yeah, it also, uh, part of the air, because they actually want to conserve some of the fuel, so they actually suck in the air, and they blow it out from the side of the tube. So actually, they would, that was a really good strategy used by the Americans during Vietnam and their jet making. It's landing gear! Sorry, I... It's not a paratrooping plane. No, I didn't think it was a paratrooping plane. Code orange. I think that's no. It says orange. Okay. Right. I thought it, I thought it would carry code orange. It looks to me like it would carry code code orange. It carries a oh, it carries a rapid fire cannon. So those probably would be off to the side right here. What do you see those little? Yeah, those probably would be right here, right here. They would attach those there. And these are bomb shells. Obviously, these would hold bombs. But I don't know what type of bombs they would hold specifically. Let's move on to the the yeah, tanks. The, ones that the tanks. Oh, yeah. this is an M14 carrier. So what happens is that and this was used in well, this was in oh this was in Nam, dude. Yeah, it's not as much a tank as it is just a yeah. Box but on the wheels. what they would do the, the reason why it's a carrier because inside of this little hole, uh, there's two there's two latches that can carry. Uh, wait, no, there's three. Three latches carry three people. Is this supposed to be where the gun is? The huge barrel. Yeah. Uh, but there's supposed to be a little gunner right here who has an M6 who has a, uh, either an M60 or a 30 cal, or the, or the guy back, no, that's the 30 cal's in the back, where that little hatch is, this is where the M60 is, and the huge cannon is right there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a uh, small, it's supposed to be a small portable tank. This is a howitzer, excuse me. Oh, that's Sheridan. Sherman. Oh, this Sheridan. Is, I, it's not a Sherman tank. Germans are German. 
Germans are not German. Sure, I sorry. I don't know too much about tanks. I know more. I about know ground troops. I know. Shut up. Edit and, that part out. That was bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that part out okay. at all. Well, and another thing, I just looked at for. I saw Sure and Ann. Sure, man. Boy, here is. Uh, it's a, no, it's not a Tui. Well, it says it's Tui a, right there. Yes, but it's not the type of plane it is. I you know. have to read the labeling, dude. So this one doesn't have a labeling because they're still working on it. But this is a air. This is a paratrooper carrier that they used in World War II to carry paratroopers and stuff like that. It's a really cool plane. Honestly, I'd love to hop in one of these and drop off of a 500 foot radius and land on the ground and get ready for action. It'd be pretty cool. Nah, true. Who put an owl in the back seat of the plane? Who put an owl back here? Yeah, I'm gonna work. spray can. Let's spray Ashton with it. Hey, it's a duck. Yeah, I get it, duck. Ooh, it was used in Nam. This is a tank. Tank is it? Thirty cal machine guns up there, dude. That stuff would pack a punch on you. Really? You sure about that? Banner of Lenin. This place. This is this is really cool stuff. We've entered back inside, and now we're looking at Vietnam section, starring all about Vietnam. Ashton, come here, dude. Look at this. It's the Ohio Vietnam Memorial. Yeah, it shows everyone who died in Nam from Ohio. It's also continuing on the other side. I know. Yeah. This is really sad, dude. There's an F-16 down there. Oh, it also shows the counts. Hey, Dad, look. One of the first model M-16 rifles. You know, M-16s are still used today, Ashton. Yeah. Yes, and they were so powerful. Sadly, we did not use them tactically well in Nam. Um, this place is amazing. Isn't this a BAR, Dad? Look at that. Huh? It's a BAR. Yeah. You see that 50 cal machine gun right there? Yeah, right here. Crazy. That thing is a beast. Ooh, Dad, look. Brownie 1999. 50 cal. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Oh, Dad, this is this is one that they used in uh uh oh uh, shoot what was it uh this one they used in our movie well, our show our show Band of, of Brothers yeah remember they plopped that up against the roof and they would shoot at the Germans as they were fleeing <coughs> so that was a t Browning nineteen nineteen they would use that in World War Two and they would prop that up against a little mountain they would shoot at the Germans with it mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. I love the BAR. That rifle is so cool. It's a bit bent, though. You can tell. See the see the barrels a bit bent. But it is it is an old gun? Yes. yes I wouldn't it be is. surprised if it wasn't. Now we're on <laughs> more Vietnam. Did you short, see the space race, Dad? Not yet. Yeah, it's down there. The short of our stick. You have bazooka. Yeah. The bazooka. Where? There, right underneath. Oh yeah, that's a that's a full that's a folding stock. What type of bazooka is that? I can't remember what it is. Mm -hmm. LA one. On L100. Ooh, dead. Rocket launcher, it says. Calvary. It's a KU's right there, boy. Does that say Charlie, Charlie don't serve? No, it doesn't. It says Charlie Troop. <laughs> I realize that but I'm so excited about Charlie's because Colonel Kilgore says from Epoch is now Charlie don't serve, which is really cool. Forward control. <gasps> Look at this. This is the taking over of the hills. In air, in air control. Oh, I love them. It's so cool. There's the cavalry divisions. They used to know What is it? It's... Oh, yeah. This is uh, Drang Valley. The Drang Valley. Here we go. A little, a little bit closer for you guys. You can pause it right here if you want to read the rest of that. Here we go. Let it focus up. There we go. Here's Nam over here. So we're continuing with Nam. M14. Oh no, it's the S S S S K S. My bad. It's S K S, used by the North Vietnamese. I'm sorry about that, guys. I mistake that. It's a uniform. It used in Nam. Um... Hey, it's a claymore. Ooh, North Vietnamese helmet. Claymore. Oh wow, Russian pistol. Where's all the American pistols? I've only seen one Ameri- What? Well, only seen like a few American pistols that they use in modern history. Yeah, I guess this is. Ooh, wonder what that rifle is. Oh, uh, it's an OV-1. I don't know. That's, this is the painting of the OV-1. What is the rifle is that? What about the three wars? It's a Russian... It's, it's a Russian what? Oh, it's French. It's a French. No? Wait, yeah, it's a, it's a French. It's a, it's a French. No. Uh, this World War II 
German Mauser. No, it's German Mauser. Okay. So what happened to three wars? M60! It's painting on the M60. Where is the M60? I'm wondering where that is. Where that bad rifle is. It's gotta be an M60 here somewhere. Oh, it was look captured by the Viet Cong and used against Americans in Vietnam. Hmm. Mm, Dan, a photograph of an... It's an M... What was it? Is that a F9? No, it's not. This is after the war, it doesn't matter. Ooh, look at that helmet. Major General Ray Corey. Wow. Look, after <laughs> a citizen hat that used the, the North Vietnamese War in Vietnam. Right there, see that little hat? Oh. <laughs> you know, Vietnamese women would actually place grenades in there and throw them into helicopters and make them explode, sadly. Here's the space race. Yep. Oh, dude, look at this. The evolution of every plane. Uh, I'm seeing a lot missing. If they were the every plane. Well, of modern history, I should say. Okay. I was going to say, I don't see a my plane anywhere. Oh, wait, there we go. Those two. Oh, P forty, <laughs> flying tiger. There's a there's a there's a muscat right there. There's a lot of cool planes up here, dude. Where's the German? Where's the where's the German fighter jet? The first fighter jet ever made was by the Germans. I wonder where that bad boy. Oh, there it is. M. See that? Mm -hmm. That M, that was a Messerschmitt, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. It was a Messerschmitt. That, that's my favorite. <gasps> there's your very first... There's the Red Baron, dude. Hmm? Red Baron. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Something German Voyager. Uh, it's called a German Voyager. <clears throat> no, it was, it was like Fokker or something. F-O-K-K-R. E-R. It's called the German Voyager, dude. That's what the... It what doesn't the, say here, though, sadly. What's 22? Is that an, that's an F. That's obviously an F. What's 22? 29. 29 must be that famous. 24. Where's 22? 22. Where's the under? Okay, here's the numbers. Uh, dang it. Where's the beginning of the numbers, though? Okay, here we go. So it's going 22. F4. It's a Phantom 2. It's a lot of cool stuff here, guys. Black Hawk, Huey. Ooh, that's a Whirly Bird. Yeah. What, what in the... Yeah, it's... Huey again. Oh, that's a mod That's a modern version of a Huey right there. Where's the Cobra? Um... Oh, there's the Cobra. Hey, it's doing right in front of me. Oh, the Black Hawk. F-16. 39th and F-16. We'll have to be right. F-15! Gosh dang it! Yes, they do have picture surgery and, and blooding guts from that, that World War II. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Me neither. Let's just go on to the next topic, shall we? Away from Japan and let's go over here. The space race seems really cool. I like this. Hey, it's Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Hey, see, Neil Armstrong. It's up there. And on moon. Oh, Space Shuttle Atlantis, remember that plane where it took all the teachers and civilians up in space for the first time, but it eventually exploded in 1980, mm -hmm. sadly. It was a very sad moment. Oh, <gasps> John Glenn. He passed away not too long ago. Yeah. In honor of John Glenn, we visit this place. Oh, also, John Glenn lived here in Ohio, so this is like a huge section about him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Show the camera video recorder. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ooh, one of the very first portable cameras, dude. Nikon. Oh, where's the tire? Oh, wow. Holy Jesus. Biggest tire I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. No, there's a lot. There's a bigger one at the Air Force Museum. Yes. Look, there's a spaceship right here. What's this one? The Discovery. I have these in actual size at the Air Force Museum. These are missiles? Or rockets. These are, yeah, these are rockets. But still, they have these in actual size. Ooh, look at that. This is a newer type of spaceship, dude. Mm -hmm. Like a little jet. And then That's like fun space. SpaceX or something. Mm -hmm. Whatever the new company is. That... Dude, look at piano. You can play the Beverly Hills Cop theme on there. Maybe not on that one, specifically. Well, you just I, sold I just it. I, I, yeah. More nom. 
Oh, wow, World War II communion kit. Yeah, they actually had, had ceremonies during battle. Well, yeah. after battle, they would have ceremonies. In between, yeah. Over here, there's more Nam stuff. Miss Moore's uniforms and... Ooh, this guy's holding a sword. Oh, he's from the USS Maryland. Hey, you found another Belgian pistol, dude. Hmm? Arthur, Ohio. Ooh, this guy's a special forces guy. He took us this helmet and jacket. It's different than all the others. Hmm. This is all new stuff. This is Iraqi. This is the Iraqi war back here. You can tell. Look at all this stuff. Yep, this is Iraq. Ooh, an Iraqi war helmet, dude. This is Iraq. Ooh, helmet evolution, dude. It's the helmet evolution right here. This is British World War II helmet. World War One. Adrian. Pickle Alba. There's the... There's a um, Stormtrooper. Yeah, it's Stormtrooper. Two lightning bolts right here. Ooh, Luftwaffe. Ooh, Russian. It's a Russian. American right there. Another American. This was a Japanese well, one. This isn't Storm. This is SS, not the yeah, Stormtrooper. Yeah, SS. Yeah. Stormtrooper's head. Different symbol. What, what was their symbol? I think Stormtroopers were actually just on. Russian. Well, that's the U.S. My bad. It's the National Guard. That's National Guard. So, you want to see bullets? Oh, wow. There you go. The evolution bullets. of the bullets. Excuse me. Sorry. Right. The blanks, MGs. These are for MG. These Tar are MG42s, dude. Mm hmm. Nope, there's carbines. a bandolier. Bandolier. Yeah, bandolier. That's a four, that's a thirty carbine. Dude, look at all these. <coughs> Japanese, U.S. Oh, that's Ooh, a tiny dude, bullet. U.S. This is for the uh, Thompson mm -hmm. Tommy gun. That one's tiny. Well, no, this is five point five six caliber. No, this is for this is for the M sixteen. These are even tinier. Didn't know bullets could get so tiny. This is for the Tommy gun right here. This yeah. is a Tommy gun. Mm -hmm. And that is scary. <laughs> yes, that is probably a sniper bullet. No. No. No, the big one. Oh, the big one? These two are probably sniper bullets. Maybe. But I was talking about the big one. No, this one? I have no idea what that is. Even for. <clears throat> it's probably for a Gatling gun of some sort. I don't know. It looks no, here's... Back to the evolution of the helmet. Sorry, guys. We have all of these helmets used from a different a time periods. Ooh, this fighter jet helmet, honor guard for the United States of America. American Marine Corps helmet down here. Where's... Oh, here you go. Used in... Oh, this is used in Vietnam. My bad. <laughs> now it's used in two. This is a Russian, obviously. Yep. Russian helmet. Removed from a corpse of a... Here's another American helmet. And this is used in Iraq. Ooh, this was used in... This is used in one of the, this was used by a uh, paratrooper dude. Used from the 145th Air Airfo Airborne Airform Airborne Division. Dude, geez, I can't speak today. This is this really cool stuff here, dude. Really cool. Yeah. Right it. Where's Dad? Oh there he is. He's down there. Last year, what'd you think of this place? I liked it. I really do. This place is amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, uh, this video of Mott's Military Museum. It's a very cool historical place. BB gun. <laughs> BB gun. Hashtag BB gun. We are on our way to the car, and we're about to leave, which is, this place is honestly really cool. And yes, a lot of weapons. Ooh, a lot sword. Of... A sword. You probably, you guys did, probably, you probably didn't see that. There's no one back there, dude. Yeah. You guys probably didn't see that, but anyways. Five, we'll go five, guys. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you just... Oh, I went there last time, Dad. So we can just spark and punch that like button. Hey, Ashton, yeah. spark and punch. Uh, uh, no, you're supposed to punch me, then you punch the screen, dude. There we go. There you go. Yay. Yeah, I'm not dumb, I swear. Okay. And I'll see all of you guys in the next Righteous. So if you watch the entire video, it's amazing. Here, high five. Whoop! <laughs> and Sparta Punch! I had to add that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was 30 minutes.